Chantal Bad. She's said that in South Africa, the origin of the speaker makes a difference to what's being heard. The Turkish president, Recep Tayyip Erdogan, has sharply criticized several Arab states for their isolation of Qatar. He said the blockade was like a death sentence. Civilians trapped in the besieged Philippines... You just fart, you just fart frankly. Don't be farting during our briefing. Sorry. Local police described how they helped five people... Alexa, can you fast forward? ...the risk of being caught as they couldn't speak the local no. dialect. Alexa... Can you fast forward? 60 people have been killed in landslides in Bangladesh, triggered by monsoon rains. Dozens more are reported missing. Alexa, fast forward. European Union's chief negotiator on Brexit has demanded formal talks start as soon as... And she don't even say it. Like, normally she says she doesn't get it. She's not even saying she doesn't get it. She's just not doing it. Being that way. It's my briefing. Prosecutors in France say a judicial inquiry has been opened against the giant Franco-Swiss construction firm Lafarge Holsum related to its activities in Syria. Time to start. Investigate whether it financed a terrorist enterprise and endangered lives. <sighs> this is why we in can't March, get good briefings anymore. So much crap. Filled with crap. I can't even get the information. Payments to local armed groups in Syria's civil war to protect uh, its operations. What do I In Fox News. I don't want to hear Fox News. Uh, Will President Trump so. tell someone else you're fired? I'm Dave Anthony, Fox News. This is, this is why they're so stupid. Who says that? How do you? You're a little bit funny. funny. Campaign meddling, and if there are any Trump ties, now there's speculation the president might want to get rid of him. Fox News' Rachel Sutherland live in Washington. Dave, Chris Reddy, one of President Trump's longtime friends, said what? he's weighing his what? options. Half the, the PBS secretary. Why are you asking his friend? Why are you? Perhaps terminating uh, the special counsel. Ray told Fox News he's not claiming the president told him he was thinking about firing Mueller, but said he's confident of his sourcing. White House Press Secretary Sean Spicer referred questions on the matter to President Trump's personal lawyer. Democratic Congressman Adam Schiff tweeted, If President Bob Mueller, Congress would immediately reestablish independent counsel and appoint Bob Mueller. Dave. <laughs> Rachel, Attorney General Sessions faces questions at the Senate Intelligence Committee today. No doubt about his contacts with Russia's ambassador before the election and his conversations with fired FBI Director James Comey. White House Press Secretary Sean Spicer says the president wants all of this dealt with quickly. There's been no collusion. Absolutely. Um, he wants this to uh, get, get uh, investigated. There, 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 there need to be any collusion. They're already colluded. The right? president has just tweeted the fake news media has an agenda of hate. And he wrote it as predicted. The Ninth Circuit did it again, ruling against his travel ban, which he put in all caps. Calling this a dangerous time in the history of our country. Yeah. The Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals ruled that President Trump I think we need to go back to the <laughs> Declaration of Independence. <laughs> and that the President failed to show their entry oh into goodness. the country would hurt American interests. Fox oh, these dreams to be south of that. Restrict travel from six majority Muslim countries deemed terror threats. The Supreme Court could consider it next. They're celebrating in the Bay Area. <laughs> Singing, we are the champions. Of the Golden State Warriors, my friend. The Cleveland Cavaliers in Game Five. And we'll Finals. keep Fox on fighting to the end. Amid all the talk about Russia we interfering in our presidential champions. campaign, Republicans and Democrats in the Senate have a bipartisan agreement on a bill to strengthen U.S. sanctions on Russia. You don't have to go to a what four-year do college Russia? to succeed. That will be part of President Trump's message when he goes to Wisconsin today. President Trump touches down in Milwaukee this afternoon where he's expected to make some remarks prior to a tour of the nearby Waukesha County Technical College where the president will hold a roundtable discussion. I don't think there's any reason to go there and tell him you don't need to be here. Like. <laughs> the requesting a hearing from CEOs that they have job openings, but they don't have workers with the skill set they need to fill those jobs. Ivanka <laughs> Trump on Fox and Friends. I, I understand. I just don't think it's a need to go to a college and make that the time to say, yeah, you don't need to be here. Like, uh, I'm here now. Republican Governor Scott Walker has an unemployment rate at 3.2 percent. For the Midwest Bureau, Jeff Manasso, Fox News. Jeff Manasso. up modestly before today's trading. Now sports again. The Golden State Warriors are the champions. Gets away from Corbett. Oh, the 
Kevin Durant scored 39 points to lead Golden State past Cleveland, 129-120 to win the NBA title in five games on ABC, and he was named the MVP. I come to bring it every day. I work hard. I believe in myself. I believe in the game. I respect the game. I love the game. And I knew at Won't some point in my life that, uh, you know, that I want. What? Yeah, Spit it out. For me. LeBron James scored 41 yeah. points in a losing effort for Cleveland. In baseball, the Yankees were again powered by Aaron Judge. He hit his major league leading 22nd home run. As New York beat the LA Angels, the Yanks have outscored their opponents 60 to 12 in a six game win streak. Jameson Tyon had five scoreless innings as the pitcher returned from cancer surgery a month ago, and he led the Pirates past the Rockies. I'm Dave Anthony, Fox News Radio. Dave Anthony. In weather. Yeah. Right now in McLean. It's 78 degrees with partly sunny skies. Today's forecast has mostly sunny weather with a high of 94 degrees and a low of 72 degrees. That's all from your flash briefing. Thank you, Alexa. Just saying thank you. That's all. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. Oh, man. She's, uh, it definitely is artificially intelligent. Oh, damn. Oh. She might need to upgrade her firmware. Alexa, when's the last time you've upgraded your uh, firmware? Sorry, I don't know that one. She doesn't even know she got firmware. She doesn't even know. No. 